what is going on ladies and gentlemen horcrux here and welcome to the channel so we have yet another episode of eso pvp top five and this is going to be episode number five in the series i hope to bring it back to a weekly or bi-weekly thing so if you guys have any clips you would like featured here on the channel there's a link down in the description below it only takes a couple minutes to fill out the battle submission form and please watch until the end because the last clip is an absolute banger i myself could not even have pulled off a better 1vx than what you guys are about to witness so without further ado let's hop into the video all right so let's start things off the first clip we have steez and templar on pc and a xbox this is a magic award or stamina award i can't tell the difference anymore and a dragonite now notice the kill counter on the bottom right that's gonna be very important steez is taking it upon himself to edit this just for me so uh yeah you guys don't have to do this i would prefer unedited clips but this is actually uh pretty nice pretty nice so taking a lot of pressure they're right next to a cube this is where you don't want to be because there's all kinds of buffs that the enemy is going to get it's actually setting up the combo with the dc meteor which is actually pretty cool so notice the bodies on the ground there's like eight bodies on the ground so this guy's a little tanky they'll eventually whittle him down so going into the rest of the clip i'm going to speed this up a little bit or cut away because this is pretty much just them destroying these guys as they respawn again and again and again and it's quite a spectacle to see these two work really really well together warden and dk is probably one of the best duos you're ever going to come come across i can't think of a better combination maybe something like nightblade dk or something of that nature but warden is very very powerful right now so going on into the next clip they're eventually going to kill this guy he's very very tanky and whittling down so this is a 14 on the kill counter skip ahead to the end of the slaughter and the kill counter is going to be up to 24 by the time everything is said and done this is over the course of three minutes and now uh, what can i say guys this is very well organized and uh, really good clips thanks for the submissions Hopping to the next clip, we have a digital death on PSNEU on the Necromancer. So he's running a duo here, and you best believe it. If you're on Necromancer, you know you're gonna be bombing a lot of kids. So he's a very effective strategy to where he'll use his buddy as a punching bag essentially to group everyone up, and he's essentially gonna come by and bomb the crap out of him, blow him up. Now this build is actually very, very tanky as well. The fact that he's able to survive and get the line of sight is absolutely incredible. Look at all those debuffs. Cutting away until later in the clip, full once guys well here we go a uh, second time this one's even better than the first catches this group of ad completely off guard for the second time and guys i wish i could say it ends there but no digital death and his friend goes on to fool me once fool me twice third time's a charm so here it is again third time out in the open and catches a lot of dragonites in this one you absolutely love to see it thank you so much for the battle submission guys and on to the next clip here we have Matthias on the Dragonite Xbox NA. And look at this beautiful tandem leave. Like, you know you guys called that out. Look at the 10k crit whips. He's running Balrog, Burning Spell Weave, and Plague Break from what I can tell. So this is a very Chad DK build. And very high risk, high reward. And it's already paying off massive dividends. Now, when I said the Warden and DK was probably the best combo out in Cyrodiil, well, I take that back. I think DK DK is the way to go. There's so much synergy between these two classes, and these two players do this very, very effective synergy to where they're healing each other, they're taking the pressure off of one each other. Look at this beautiful leap. Ari deletes a dude laying on the ground there. I think there's three or four dead already. The game snipe spam from the key, but these guys don't even care. Look at the roll dodges. Look at the beautiful leap. Another 10k leap, man. Like, I can't get my leaps to hit this hard without corrosive. So kudos to running this build. They're very, very powerful. And this is why I always say run well fitted in open world you can tell that matthias has a lot of well fitted on because he's been roll dodging literally constantly and the stamina pool is still very very strong so he's standing a bunch of aoe this is a vampire ultimate so he's kind of run all that kind of get out of the line of sight get some resources he's trying to get chains there there's a random sort streaking away because he doesn't want to be a part of that now i'm pretty sure in the background his buddy's already deleted two people and they've already rezzed so there's only three opponents left so he's trying to regroup to single out targets i'm sure there's communication going on here so you pick out the squishy warden in the back yes it says he has wards it's very deceptive wards are not going to stop that now look from the top ropes look at beautiful leap and his opponent in the background trying to heal him he sees the writing on the walls well guys that's a good game 
Rolling into the next clip, we have Adam Ladd on the Magic of Sorcerer Xbox EU. And the reason I featured this clip, because if you guys pay very close attention, look at his maximum health. This is 22k. This is the original Magic of Sorcerer PvP build. He's even got Harness Magic and Max Magic. Like, this is a super risky spice build. I, I, I love it. This is a throwback to when ESO was actually good, right? Dodging the scavenging mall there with the roll dodge. Very, very good. He, I've noticed his animation canceling particularly on point so right now i think the kill counter is up to two maybe three correct me if i'm wrong he's party with a dk dk is going to take most of the attention as he should he's getting pummeled by annoying templars so he's going to pop his life gear to try to save his teammate because he believes he's in trouble he's able to find a opponent in the back is not getting kills from the dedicated healer and he's able to animation cancel and burst him down so kill counter is at three or four his buddy's soloing the guy in the back and make that five constantly having to reapply wards because you have such a low health pool if you take any damage when your shields are down you're absolutely toasted getting wrecking blow spam is really annoying breaks free really quick takes a dawn breaker it doesn't matter to him because he's got hella wards roll dodging scavenging mall yet again gets it executed on opponent very nice kill confirmed there so now it's just down to four and dk's and it's corrosive i do believe just completely obliterates that opponent leaving the dedicated healer for last now it's a 2v3 dodges a scavenging maw his health goes down to a 20k max because of the minor brutal or whatever debuff Nightblade runs away in the back, you know, typical Nightblade fashion. Now it's down to a 2v2. And if these guys could not kill this duo before, you best know that they're not gonna be able to do it now. So it goes in for the burst. This is why the Sork Execute is absolutely dog water. Each execute is only doing 3k damage. Zoss, please look in this execute, make it do a lot more damage. Please and thank you very much. Last opponent on the list tries to streak away, but they're not having it. DK catches him, executes on the opponent, streak for the CC, leap combo. He can roll dodge all you want, but it's not going to help your brother. Out of resources, GG to the re. Now, I wasn't kidding when I said I saved the best for last. This is Car Joe on the Magic of Dragon Knight on the PCNA showing the console boys how it's done here on PC, right? Completely annihilates these AD at the door. And no, this is not a bombing DK build, despite the way it looks. This is an actual legit 1BX build. And this is the most spectacular 1BX I've ever seen from a Dragon Knight, including all my clips myself. So he killed so many people. He already has his corrosive yet again. AD doesn't realize this. I'm sure that they don't. Fool me once to the door well go upstairs fool me twice you guys already know what's going to happen all these ad are in for a rude awakening and look at the bodies on the ground guys this is absolutely phenomenal he gets jesus being he's able to live through it we're going to click through now this would be amazing to say if that was the end of the clip we could end it there but no guys carjo does it a third time i crap you not all the ad are getting res the rallying they hate we have to kill this guy like now carjo says nah fam we ain't about the life even with the blood funnel health fountain he goes in for a third one guys one more for the road this poor night blade in caps in conceals weapons in, and he jumps right into a huge explosion you absolutely love to see gameplay like this look at that 37k ticks on everyone around him and he's not done yet guys he's going to finish it off of the rest of the ad here on the steps are in towns are controlled he's in complete control of this fight i have never seen such a massacre in all my life so please go give this guy some love on his channel again links is in the description down below to everyone who has featured carjo yo my man this is a great clip thank you thank you Thanks for watching till the end guys everyone who was featured in today's video all of their socials are down in the description below and as always a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members the support you guys provide is absolutely amazing i appreciate each and every single one of you please go follow me on twitch and twitter yes i still do those things do not forget to like and sub for the next pvp top five which will probably be next week or the week after that depending on the amount of clips i get so make haste go submit your clips in the battle form submission below this has been Horcrux, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.